My name is Kathy Rigg, and I live in Ian Paul, Washington, and this is my daughter, Katie. I was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes when I was four years old. The day Katie was diagnosed and she was in pediatric ICU at Mary Bridge Children's Hospital, I made a promise to her that I would do everything in my power to help find a cure for her and her grandmother, who also has had diabetes for uh, many decades. So it was then that we started uh, working with JDRF and trying to find a cure and starting to understand the importance of speaking with the legislatures, uh, legislators to uh, increase funding, especially the NIH funding, which helps many different diseases, but our passion is to find a cure for diabetes. Having diabetes for 12 years, over 12 years, um, has an impact on someone, and it's not only people with diabetes, like for like the stem cell research, people with Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's and stuff, that can all be helped. Uh, back in 2005, Katie was a representative from the state of Washington for Children's Congress through Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And one of our scheduled visits was in Dave's office. And we went there with a few other families that were, uh, had diabetes in the family. And there were children there with their parents. And Katie had to test her blood sugar. And she does that by poking her finger and uh, measuring a, a droplet of blood on a meter. So there's some days when I have really bad low blood sugars or really bad high blood sugars and it, they make me physically sick. Every time I see him, uh, whether in Mercer Island or in Washington, D.C., he takes the time to listen to what our request is and, and research it and his staff has been wonderful at getting back with us and giving us answers as to where he's at on a certain issue and um, changing his his vote for the stem cell research it was uh, huge. It showed that he listened to what his constituents wanted and had asked for and uh, made a very big difference in, in our lives and gave us uh, a little extra ray of hope that we will find a cure soon.